I'm gonna get some black wildebeest to look for them. We seen them over there, and then uh, whatever else, zebra, or whatever else might pop up. This was a pretty neat animal that we got here, uh, black wildebeest, and um, <clears throat> my pH put me right on it. And uh, let me know when it was good to shoot, and then uh, had to shoot it twice, but second time it went right down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we saw a group of, of these and um, we stocked up on them and uh, had to wait for him to come out of the bushes and uh, when he stepped out, that's when I got him. fresh from a good night's sleep and um, already saw a heart of beast and uh, but they took off so now we're on the hunt for some zebra for uh, Sebastian to try to get a shot off on one of them It's a stallion there. It is? Yeah. Is that cool? 
and they just switch spots. Mm. Okay. Whatever one you want. Yeah. Just stay on them for me. I'll check. Great cook here and fixed up this uh, wildebeest, black wildebeest tongue for me to eat and try. And uh, I think it's going to be delicious myself. Just made up some of this uh, mustard sauce. Mmm. Man, this is good. Kid you not. That's good. Day five, we're out going after a water buck and a heart of beast. So once we uh, run across one of them, then be my turn up to put the whack on whatever we might see. Get him, reload, or no? Okay, take it. Oh, you hit him good there. That was a good shot. That was a damn good shot, damn good shot Darren. Thank you. Damn good hard beast. Well yeah. done. 
day five, run across the heart of beast early morning and uh, sun's up nice and bright. Gonna be a great day, especially after getting this heart of beast. Today's Saturday, and we're after a water buck. Come by some Nihawa, and uh, we went to look for them, and they just disappeared into the brush. So, back after the water buck. of our hunting trip and um, ended up finding this uh, water Ooh. buck after tracking I don't even know how far up and down them hills we went I was out of breath and it's more work than I ever even imagined coming here hunting but it's been a blast had some uh, Real good pH and a great tracker, and they found it for me, and we just did a lot of hiking and uh, did the woo -wee. <laughs> Oh, it was great. Had a good time. It's been a great time. <laughs>
Okay, this is the last day and we're at the Vermont um, cabin or lodge and uh, we went out this morning and drove around got some videos looking for kudu and uh, niala and bushbuck and baboons and seen some fallow deer run off but it's, it's been a, a great time here I, I just I don't even know how to explain it it's just a lot of fresh air and uh, it's been great everybody good food uh, everybody's been exceptionally nice and had a good time with PHs and uh, my fellow hunters it's been great Hi there everyone, um, Ryan here from Earlands River Safaris. Uh, just finished our last day hunting with Daryl Humphrey. He uh, had, a, as far as I understand, had a great trip. We managed to get all the animals he was after. Um, had a few trials and tribulations in between, a few ups and downs where we struggled with a zero after trying to verify his dials out to a thousand yards. And he did manage to get, it a, th get a gong at a thousand yards, a few hits. And we thought we were on the money um, only to find that we didn't re-zero his rifle after we'd hit the gong at a thousand and um, ended up dialing at a water bucket 300 yards for a thousand three hundred yards. Send one flying way over it and uh, I, I, understandably he was a bit upset so uh, we got everything redialed again, um, got him re-zeroed and he uh, managed to bowl over a water buck with a 360 yard shot. Absolutely phenomenal shot. Whacked it one shot, bowled over, legs in the air, kicking around. It was done and dusted. Okay guys, this one goes to Daryl. Got to say, both my clients rocked up into Africa having probably shot, I think their longest shots at about 100 yards. And I was, when they saw the ballistics labs, they were like, hmm, we stretch this one out there. So. That piqued Sebastian's interest, which then piqued Daryl's interest. And um, I don't think I had Daryl on a shot at under 300 yards this whole thing. Wow. <laughs> After seeing what they did on the range, I was thinking this is going to be easy weasel. So, well done to Daryl for actually bowling his water back over 260 yards. Bones in the wow. light, down and dusted, buddy. Well done. Wow. Wow. This is after all Sebastian's help helping me get Daryl dialed in at a thousand yard gong. Um, found a bus of a water buck, Brian's water buck if I'm not mistaken. Beats. No, 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 hang on, beat one. No, we no, no, it's early now. It's early now. We had the first shot at it, but we were at 300 yards on the button, 320, 320 yard yards. And Daryl forgot to turn his dial, zero his dial back. So Daryl dialed for 1,300 yards. <laughs> and a 300 yard shot. That's for you, man. This first one goes to my roommate a couple nights ago, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Why? This man, he warned me that he snores. <laughs> and boy, he was not lying. <laughs> this is this for the first one. I just need to double up because I know what Brian went through, or for Brad, what Brad went through with Daryl snoring. <laughs> so the first night at the Afton, we go to bed at 12.30, we've got to be up at 3.30. As soon as his head touched the pillow, I shot, he was snoring. Rattling my bones. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Daryl. Daryl! 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 This goes to 
the best pH I've ever had. Ryan, he deserves everything.